Hey everybody, this is Cullen, and I am going to walk you through a tutorial on making a cool intro for your YouTube channel, and I will be walking you through the Clueless Gamers intro, the original one. Now what you want to do is go into After Effects and start off with a new composition. Uh, for this tutorial I'll be using 1080p, so I mean, it's pretty standard, and I will have a white background instead of the normal black one. So to start off, you want to create a new text layer. Uh, you can name this whatever you want, but just for the tutorial, I am going to name it Gameplay, just like in the original intro. Now I will shorten this up to fit the time span and add a new, another new text layer and name that Glitches. I have now placed these two layers in a way where I can do an easy transition between the two. So what we will do is add a fast blur. Now w with here you can go into effects, blur and sharpen, and fast blur. So after you add that fast blur you want to set the blurriness to 1 because as you can see without it the gameplay can look a bit jagged. Setting that to 1 makes it a lot smoother and a lot more attractive to look at. After you set that, you should go just a couple frames, I recommend about three or four, in between those two texts, as you can see they're overlapping right now, and set that blurriness to about 70 or so. Once you have it set there, you can go into your second text and go to that fast blur once again, and do the same thing with this, except do it at the beginning instead of the end. So this is what it looks like so far. And as you can see, it, it slowly blurs into the composition and then it flows into the next text. Since I showed you how to do the fast blur, you should be able to get until the final Clueless Gamers just fine. So I'll come back and show you how to do the last bit. As you can see now, I have completed all of the text portion of the Clueless Gamers intro. The only thing left to do is to add in the logo right behind the question mark on Clueless Gamers and then do the final outro effects. Now to create that logo what I want to do is create a new layer and I will make a shape layer. Now I want to align that right with the Clueless Gamers text. Once you've done that, you want to go up to the top and it should say Rectangle Tool. Hold down on it and go to the Rounded Rectangle Tool. With that, you can create the body of the Clueless Gamer logo. And don't worry about the color, you can change that later. But right now, you just want to make the body parts. Now, first you want to make that body, and then you go down to Rectangle 1, Stroke 1, and Fill 1. In the fill, you change that to whatever color you want. I mean, in the Clueless Gamers, I used a green, so I'm going to keep that green color. And then with the color of the stroke, you can use the eyedropper and go right to that same green color. Now the stroke width, you want to turn all the way down or else there will be some weird ghosting on some of the other layers that we will be adding to this. After you add that, the other shapes that you make will be the same. So the next one is the arm. So with that, you just kind of drag and make a oval, a long oval type shape, and then to make the other arm do the same thing and try to make it as close as you can to the other one. Once you have those, you can use the rotator tool and rotate each one individually approximately 45 degrees. After you've done that, you can place those where they belong. And now it's time for the head. You go back to the rectangle, or the rounded rectangle tool and go to ellipse right underneath. Create a circle, however big you want. And then drag that 
right where the head should be. Now here, this is the basic Clueless Gamers intro without the outro effects. Let me show you what we have so far. As you can see, everything is there except for the outro. Now what you want to do is, I'd say about a second after the Clueless Gamers uh, text and logo show up, you can begin your outro effects. Now to do those, you want to duplicate both of the Clueless Gamers text and shape layer. So what you do is just select your Clueless Gamers, do copy and paste. I like to put that underneath the first shape layer so that they're both together. And then get that shape layer, copy and paste. And then get that second shape layer underneath that second Clueless Gamers text so that they are put together. You now go to Clueless Gamers 2, Animation, and Browse Presets. Now to do this you have to have Adobe Bridge, but if you have installed After Effects or Premiere Pro or whatever, Adobe Bridge should have been with it. If it's not, it should be free on the Adobe website and is very easy to get. Now from here, you should be in the Presets folder. You want to drag all the way over to Text, and then from there go into Blurs. And the effect that I used for the very end was Evaporate. Click that twice and it will apply it to the Clueless Gamers text. That will show up in the, underneath the text part of Clueless Gamers and you go to Evaporate Animator. Now what you want to do is make sure that your second Clueless Gamers text and second logo are both moved over. So I'm going to do that now. Once you have added that evaporation, this is what it will look like. Once you have that evaporate animator in, you can once again go to animation, browse presets, image special effects, and you notice there are these three bad TV effects. Now what I like to use is these two, the Bad TV 2 and 3 together, but for the sake of the tutorial I'm just going to use the 3. Once you have added that animation, this is what it will look like. But as you can see, the first animation, the evaporation, that occurs a bit too late. It stays too long for you to have a quick intro. So what I will do is I will move it so that it will happen a lot quicker. So under the evaporation, you see this range selector has a few keyframes. Now this is at the beginning and the end of when the evaporation fully occurs. Now I moved this keyframe over and I will also move this one to a much quicker pace so it happens in just under a second. Now what you want to do is blend the logo with what the text is doing. So what you can do is press animation, recent animation presets, and your bad TV will be right there. After you have added all of that, this is what it will look like in the end. Messing around in After Effects can actually do a lot. If you mess around, this is what can happen. And as you can see, this newer Clueless Gamers intro has a lot of cool things like the four color gradient and some shadowing I added in. But thanks for watching this tutorial. More coming soon.